My name is Serapio Hernandez. I'm 41 years old. I'm from Rio de la Paz in Mexico. When I wanted to cross the river, I was scared. It was my first time. It was like going to another world, crossing to the other side, the United States. I didn't know what I was going for, but what I do. I left the family over there in Mexico, my wife, my children. Really, my town doesn't have anything, just people. It was desperation primarily. That is what forced me to come seek new opportunities, mainly the economy. To find a job here without knowing English is really hard. You have to do simple occupations, for instance, dishwashing, mowing yards. I don't have much, really. I've done a lot, but I've also lost it. Gone with the wind. Sometimes I feel very frustrated because I've done so much. I've had good experiences and bad experiences, but, well, we just have to keep going. The best thing that has happened to me is that I became a U.S. citizen. Thank God, I'm more inside than out of this country. I don't have to worry about the legal thing anymore. Immigrant, is this the right place to be talking about immigrants? Look around you. This is all, uh, this is all WASP, everywhere you look. Us. Foreigners. <laughs> 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 it means somebody is coming over as unlegal. Thinking of you know, Caucasian or European, you have to look at the Native Americans. Asian influence or maybe African influence. That means just about all of us. I think that means they, um, they were not native here and uh, they moved here and they are planning to live forever here. <laughs> Immigrant. A Mexican. <laughs> um, most of them are Latinos and many of them are Chinese, Japanese. Oh, it means like myself, I guess. I'm an immigrant. <laughs> in Nashville? I probably doesn't mean a lot in Nashville. This is, this is the South. Well, what I say is they have every right to be here as much as we do. That's, I mean, we're all, we all came from immigrant stock. This uh, nation is made up of immigrants, so everybody in the United States is one. I've been here a long time. <laughs> immigrant. Melting pot. <laughs> United States. <laughs> well, I guess I'm an immigrant to start with. Um, I think New York. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see it as a bad word. I mean, but when I hear immigrant, I picture somebody doesn't speak the language, you know, probably got over here not too long ago, maybe within the last year. I'm an immigrant. I'm an immigrant. And they're hard to find because they look like everybody else. Nashville, Tennessee, the world capital of country music, has experienced an explosive migration of people from different countries. Hispanics, as well as other immigrants, have found Nashville to be an excellent destination to seek new work opportunities. And their presence is noticed. With their restaurants, markets, newspapers, clubs, public celebrations, and also radio programs, covering topics extremely important to a large number of listeners. Que las redadas, este, por el momento, el, el, eh, la oficina de migración no tiene planes de, de, de hacer redadas. Our number one... Uh, priority is people who have committed crimes. Uh, if, if you're uh, involved in committing crimes, or you're involved in gang or drug activity, um, then uh, you should be worried. How immigrants uh, kind of affect the, the economy in, in, in Tennessee or, or, or the Middle Tennessee? A lot of labor is being done uh, by people that are here uh, illegally. That, that have no authorization to be here in the United States, and they're and they're doing, um, you know, the benefit of that is, is something that you know politicians look at, that, that other people examine. Uh, you know, if you're an individual who has lost your job to an illegal alien, or you're not able to get a contract because somebody that's using unauthorized workers is underbidding you, then that's a very serious concern to you. But other people may be benefiting and, and because uh, they're building houses cheaper.
It is here where they should be. They should develop here, especially if they are poor. They should come to work here, and the children grow up here and learn to become bilingual and learn to understand life in a different way. But it's really hard because one has to cross several parts of the country and then come to the side. But at the same time, it is worth it. There is nothing to lose. And there is a way to get better and work here. And the people, the ones that are here, are afraid of us because they are people like me, telling others, the poor, the people from all parts of the world, to come here, to move here, to live. The most important thing is to try to change these people's lives in Latin America and help to support humanity because those people are suffering a lot. It is turning really nice for Latinos. We are finally registering whenever we can. Now we vote more often. The people that are here without papers are working hard, trying to understand the life here. It is really hard since many of the people that come here cannot speak English, so it is difficult. But at the same time, there are lots of people that speak Spanish here. One of every 10 in this country speaks Spanish. In recent years, Latinos, as well as other ethnic minorities, have managed to develop, establishing themselves regardless of their language barrier or their legal status. Y para a veces alguna emergencia que uno tiene que hacer y pues no puede uno manejar y pues sin licencia como que es mucho problema, ¿da? es ilegal manejar sin licencia. Nos afectaría a todos más que nada, no nada más a mí sino a todos. En late 1999, a local newspaper investigation uncovered abuse against Hispanic residents at an apartment complex by private security hired to protect them. The case of Ivywood led to an FBI investigation due to allegations of misconduct by police officers moonlighting for a private security firm. Internal changes in the police force improved the situation, preparing the way to a better understanding of minorities. I saw them carrying pepper sprays, and they spray people in the face, in the eyes, without warning nor explanation. And they stop them and then push them to the ground, kicking them, hitting them with their flashlights in their arms and legs, while handcuffed and on the ground. One step on his neck to keep him down, while hitting him with the flashlight on the back. While they were being hit, the ones that spoke some English tried to defend themselves. But the security guards told him to shut up, that if he continued talking, he would arrest him and deport him to his country. Over there they stopped me and poured beer on me. When they stopped me to pour beer on me, I showed them my ID. After they saw it, they didn't bother me anymore. 